Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Interference. One of the main culprits is interference that mingles with the TV and Wi-Fi connectivity. This happens when another wireless device is sending signals that interrupt the Wi-Fi. Interference can be caused by everyday gadgets like a smart refrigerator or a pair of speakers. To check, remove any radio transmission devices from around the Apple TV and see if the problem is solved. If radio transmission turns out to be the issue, you can adjust the multicast rate on your router, which you can find instructions to do in your router manual. If it's not, give your router a quick restart to refresh the network. AP address issues. Sometimes, it's not just your Apple TV that disconnects from the Wi-Fi, but every connected device to that network. This is even more problematic and can be traced back to an IP address issue. Bear in mind, however, that first-gen Apple TVs have been reported to come with bad Wi-Fi NICs that take networks down, so that could be the root cause. To fix this, make sure that your router has the most recent firmware update. Also, ensure that its DHCP settings give the Apple TV's Mac address a static IP address. Software isn't updated. Another connectivity issue may arise where the Apple TV is connected to the network but isn't functioning. Make sure to check that your device has the latest update installed. You can do so by going to Settings, then to System, and Software Updates. Afterward, select Update Software. If a software update is detected, click on Download and Install. Wait for the installation to finish and for your TV to automatically restart after. Also, don't forget to set the updates to be installed automatically in order to avoid the hassle of manual checking and manual updates later on. Apple TV or router aren't updated. Sometimes, your Apple TV may not be able to recognize Wi-Fi connections to begin with. In that case, you should opt for updating both the Apple TV and the router. We've mentioned how to update Apple TV in a previous section. To update the router, you'll have to log in to your router's admin console. Then go to the firmware upgrade section to download and install the most recent, trusted one. After that, your router will reset itself and your Apple TV should smoothly connect to the internet. How to boost Apple TV Wi-Fi signal. The easiest way to boost the Wi-Fi on your Apple TV is to disconnect other Wi-Fi connections in use. Or you can use a more powerful router to feed all the devices around it. If you don't mind the cables, you could opt for an Ethernet connection, which is a surefire way to keep your Apple TV's connection to the internet stable. Finally, you can avoid the cables of Ethernet connection by using an Ethernet socket powerline network adapter that works with mains to transmit signals. Network reset. This is one of the best potential ways of fixing connectivity glitches and bugs. It's not a necessary step, but it can really help when nothing else seems to work. Resetting your network deletes the login data for all your stored Wi-Fi connections, unlike manual resets of a specific network that remove only its data. The only drawback is that you'll have to spend some time reconnecting and inputting all your login credentials to everything. If you are still having trouble, see if there are any more solutions in the comments. I will also update the blog post, linked in the description, with any new details that appear.